Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Stardew Valley with me, Miss Darkness. Stardew Valley is a farming simulation game where you learn to live off the land, become a part of the local community, meet someone special, explore vast, mysterious caves and customise it to your own tastes. Let's get into it. But so this is a game I have played before, so we're not going to be starting this off as a noob. So let's go and pick some outfits and choose our character. So I'm definitely going to pick someone that's kind of close to what I look like. We'll just go with my standard character name. And farm wise, let's go with Blossom Farm. Favourite thing, mm, let's go with something tasty. It's coconut. And we will definitely go for a dog, not a cat, because dogs are better, obviously. Okay, so I won't skip the intro just in case you've not seen this game before. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. I don't know why we're in his bedroom, it's kind of weird. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Jojo, join us. Thrive. Work. Smile, you're with Jojo. Life's better with Jojo. Is it Jojo or Joja? Oh, look, it's us. Dear Kira, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I've lost sight of what matters most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Blossom Farm. It's located in the Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Apologies if I trip up on my words. I am a little bit dyslexic, so we'll we'll have to cope with that. Oh, we're on a bus. Hello, you must be Kira. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there, right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'd like to follow me. He did a great job of tidying that up, Robin. This is Blossom Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's a good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Easy for you to say, Rowan, you're not doing the mess. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pennacon Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Took me a minute. <laughs> rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Is that a word? Rude. Don't listen to her, Kira. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. You'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Hello, 
So we spent the night in our dead granddad's bed. Not weird at all. Um, got a gift. Some parsnip seeds. We received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Very nice. Anything on the telly? Living off the lamb. Welcome to Living Off The Land. We're back again with another tip for you all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild foraging to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Awesome. So go outside then before the die wastes away. Alright, so getting started. We've got to cultivate and harvest a past it. And we've got to introduce ourselves to 28 people. We've already introduced ourselves to Robin and Lewis, so two out of those are not included. Let's clear a space then and plant our crops. Got to conserve energy though because unfortunately this game does run a lot on energy. So you can see our energy here. It's actually quite small. Shall we make it a little bit bigger? I know my game tends to make everything tiny. It should be alright. Okay, so this one doesn't really waste any energy, which is good to know, good to note. Okay, perfect. So, as I have played this game before, I am aware that the shop opens at 9am. Um, we do have 500 quid, or G, whatever G stands for, which we should probably use towards buying more seeds. Well, that sounds logical realistically because we want to make more money so buy more seeds earn money and then buy more seeds endless cycle of death All right so clearing a space so we will probably want a chest which is 50 wood so if we can gather some more wood that would be good conscious that we are running out of energy though and it is nine o'clock so let's if we buy more parsnip seeds that we don't need more room so let's go get parsnip seeds then and this is the town oh there's a person we must introduce ourselves would be rude not to oh she's gone in the shop let's go hello ah mayor lewis told me you just arrived i'm marie See ya. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Um, we'll say hello to this guy as well. Hey, it's Miss Kira, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Thank you. So let's buy our parsnip seeds. We're literally going to spend all our money on seeds. Because money. Can we go back here? Yes, we can. Let's introduce ourselves to... Oh, his wife went out the back door. We can introduce ourselves to his daughter, though. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. That was Abigail. Oh, another person over here. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Hi, Alex. I feel like I'm in an AA meeting. Oh, we've got someone else. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. Evelyn. You can call me Granny if you like. And we have this guy. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Humph. All right. To be fair, if someone came into my house and did the same thing, I'd probably be like, okay, now leave, please. Okay, so we've met, how many people have we introduced ourselves to? Nine. We've met nine people. We can do some more later, but I'm thinking we go back home and we plant some seeds. Okay, so we'll use our hoe. Uh, let me 
So we want to have a path here, so realistically we want to farm from maybe here. I'm a little bit picky about how I do things as well in this game, so you might you might notice. It might be a little bit obvious. Okay, I'm running out of energy, so let's start planting, and um, we'll need to water these as well. It's a little bit conscious we're going to run out of energy. Oh, we have got a full water tank. Or watering can I suppose. Might need to leave those last eight for now and come back to them. But we can go say hello to people. Oh, we've got dots down here. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Say hello to this kid without being awkward. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. It's not a good mentality to have, kid. All strangers could be danger. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. Okay, that sounds kind of like an insult. Hello, you must be Kira, the new farmer. I'm Coraline. From the film? Maybe. Is there anyone at home? this one. Oh, there's a girl with blue hair. Let's have a look. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you've ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Will do, Emily. See if there's anyone on the beach. In the library. Uh, probably won't be in the library actually if Vincent wasn't there. Oh, a stranger. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. Here. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too, Elliot. I still can't pick anything up because I haven't got a chest. Right. Uh, I do believe... He the guy that works in that shop isn't here at the moment. He's on vacation. Let's go to the blacksmith before he shuts. Or are we going to get there in time? Yeah. Let's go say hello. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. Hi, Clint. You're awkward. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cheers, Clint. Bye, Clint. Uh, let's check the library. I don't know if this is really a library, it's a museum I think, but I always call it a library. Uh, okay, that guy apparently doesn't count as a person, so that's awkward. Who else have we not met? Oh, 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 people we've not met. Hey kid, my name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Okay, don't know why I gave her an accent. Hi, I'm Sam, good to meet you. Hi Sam, you have cool hair. Do you wanna do you wanna hang out later? We could we could be friends. Oh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh do you think there's anyone else in Jojo Mart? We can have a look, can't we? There's someone here. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem too interested in talking. Alright, Shane. Let's see how it is. Jojo Cola, fuel your life. Oh, someone else we've not met, or two people we've not met. So we have Penny, I think. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Oh, just casually sit next to you. Uh, oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Maru. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, 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 another girl. Oh, she's gone in the house. I'm gonna stalk her. Let's go. Oh, she gets in her room. Run. Oh, you're the new farmer girl. Or whatever, aren't you? Alright. Huh? Oh, I'm Hayley. Yep. 
You seem like a, a pleasant lady. Oh, we got another one. Hello, it's nice to meet you. She's got a nice face. Leah? 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 Uh. You pick a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Seems nice. Oh, there's Shane that ignored us earlier. He's going to be grumpy now. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Okay. Rude. Alright, how many people have we met? How many more people do we need to meet? So we've met 23 out of 28. So if we go on to the social tab, we should be able to see who we've not met yet. Okay, so we've not met this person. That one, that one, that one, that one, or that one. Because that's the technical term for them. <laughs> uh, so I do know that there is some people up here. We can have a little look. Probably all of you are like screaming at me to do some foraging, and I will do, but at the moment, full inventory, so there's no point in trying. Okay, so that's Robin, and this is her husband, I assume. Greetings, I'm Dimitri, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Oh, cheers. Um, I do believe we've not met his son. Oh, there he is. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Sebastian, the whale washing dolphin. There's going to be many young people that do not get that reference. Oh, and I just saw the other guy we've not met go into his little tent. A stranger, hello. This is Linus. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Okay, y you do your thing. No judgments. So that was, I'm really bad at counting, apparently. 26 out of 28. Don't know if we're going to be able to meet everyone else tonight. We'll have a little look though. Yeah, we definitely won't be because actually one of them was a little girl, wasn't it? We've met you, Maru. Usually I'm really bad with names, but because obviously I've played this before, I am remembering. We've met Klim. Anyone else in here that we've not met? No, nope, met all of those. So I suppose we go home. Go have a little chill at home. Cup of tea. Before bed. Ah, good morning. Right, what's on telly? Weather and fortune. Oh, we've got a message. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Piers got you covered. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out an our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Awesome. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Bet you do. Bet you got something real nice for me. Water our plants. We could probably plant the rest of our plants today and probably cut down a couple of trees so we can get a chest. So 50 wood, if I remember correctly. Is our watering can going to hold? Oh, perfect. Right, so let's get rid of some of this crap and then we can, uh, we can get some wood. I have to jump when I cut a tree, it doesn't seem very efficient. <laughs> That's why I'm losing so much energy, I'm jumping every time I'm trying to cut a tree. Alright, we've got enough for our chest now, so let's build that quick. And put that here. Shall be our ready brown chest with all of our stuff in it. Uh, let's put those things away, but we'll keep that one. And let's go see Willy. He said he had a present for us. Do hope it's not what I think it is. <laughs> Forage a little bit while I've got some inventory space. 
Oh, there he is. Is he smoking? He's got his little pipe. Ahoy there, miss! Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a, it was a big haul. I sold a lot of fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Don't know why he sounds like that, but that's how he sounds. <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of old fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yay, fishing rod. Woo! It's a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old papa used to say anyway. And we'll just uh, brush over that one. So we've got our bamboo pole. Do a little bit of fishing. Twenty years later. <laughs> Spongebob. Oh wow. Really not going to catch anything. There you go. So it's like a little mini game where you've got to keep the fish in that little green bit and you click to keep it in there. Cool, well, we got sardine, two inches. It's a silver one. It's our next one. Oh. Almost. There we go. What we've got now? Four inch sardine. Another silver one, so they're stacked, which is good. We like a stack. Yeah, not so good. This is trash. Let's try again, shall we? See if we can get anything good. Jojo Cola. A sea Jojo Cola. Does give us energy and um, health, though. I will get this fish. There you go. Flounder. Let's go for one more and then we'll go for a wander, shall we? Seaweed. That doesn't count. <laughs> Another sardine. Right. We can go on our way. Oh, we should collect our shells. We've got some inventory. So we've got a little clam over there. And what's over here? An oyster. Tasty. Let's go upwards. Back to our farm. Do we need to meet anyone else? Oh, how to win friends. Give a gift. Uh, what do we have that we can give? We don't. People aren't that keen on daffodils or dandelions, from what I remember. So we can find a daffodil. Uh, not seeing any. Oh, there's one. Should we give it back to Sam? Or Abigail. Let's give it to Abigail. Oh, and this one right next to her as well, so we can pick another one. You brought me a present! Thanks! So, what do we get from that? How to win friends. 100 quid. Nice! 
Let's give our other da daff da daffodil. Da yeah, dan no. Daffodil. To Alex, if we can. No, don't eat it. There you go. Thanks. Cheers. Welcome. Uh, is the shop still open? Yes. Let us buy some more seeds. What should we get? Uh, there's quite a variety. Let's get... Well, we've only got a hundred, so we can't get many. Uh, should we get one of those? Um, we don't have any inventory space for anything else. Unless we sell some in. Yeah, sell our stuff. Get another couple of those. There you go. We can get back to our farm and plant them. Which we can't, probably. 28 energy. Might be alright. Coming through! Let's put our fishies away. Oh, we could always eat our, um, our stuffs and then we will have more energies. Should we do that? Let's have some Seaweed, eat weed, you get it? Um, one of those. <laughs> Tasty. Right. All my stuff is everywhere and it's confusing me. Okay. So if we hoe the ground a bit, we can put these there and water those. Perfection. And then with our excess, we can do a bit of cleaning. Okay, that's all our energy for the day. Might be able to quickly water those. And then. Cool. Off to bed at 6.50. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Okay. Hey! Stole one of our plants! What a meanie. Uh, but it is raining today, so we won't need to do any watering, which is good. We can probably chuck our stuff back in here and go fishing! There's a couple of things on the notice board. Should we have a little look? So that's birthdays. And then this one, that's still birthdays. <laughs> Help wanted. I'd like to put quartz on my on my shelf. On myself. Please deliver it sometime today. Shane. Not gonna happen, mate. But uh good luck with that. <laughs> right, let's go fishing. We got green algae. Delicious and nutritious. It's very slimy. Ugh, gross. Oh, hello. Nope, lost it. Ew, soggy newspaper. Gross. we get. We've got a small mouth bass. Another small mouth bass. Larger one. Is he going to walk into me? Hello. Just fishing. How was your day? Oh. Alright then. See ya. Emo kid. I've got to say hello to Emo kid. So, if you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. Hmm. Good input. Although I've never seen a frog in this game. Pam, thank you, ma'am.
shad. Stone, cool, that was worth it. Can't decide if it's more sad or just relaxing to be fishing in the rain. It's kind of relaxing. This also seems kind of sad. All alone. Maybe I need a buddy. Oh, Jesus. probably leave it there for today for our fishing trip. I've got a nice haul as you can see below and I spent quite a bit of energy which is good. Now a thing I do know about this game is it's always good to save some of everything just in case you need it for any particular mission or bundle or something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep a couple of things and then put the rest to the shop. So let's keep actually let's keep five of those. Let's keep some of that. Let's keep those ones. Let's keep let's keep the silver one. We'll get rid of that one as well. So in you go. Yay, level up! Level 1 fishing, plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. Level 2 fishing, plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. New crafting recipe, bait. So this is our first haul that we've done from, from um, for selling. And look at that, that's our fishy breakdown. Excellent. Day 3 people. Or day four now. It was day three. <laughs> Anything good on the telly? Living off the land? Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tips for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for your folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Awesome. Check that out. Of crows. Start the day off right by watering the plants. Make sure everything is up to code. Even if we are missing a good few of them around. Now, I don't think we're gonna get some more seeds today because although we probably have room, I don't want to waste all of our energies every day on watering plants. Probably do some clearing out today and then tomorrow we can do some foraging maybe. But it would probably be nice to be able to get around the farm a little bit easier. Because there is a little entry exit here which leads up to the top bit. Should be nice if we have clear access to that. So let's do some clearing. Okay, that's our energy done. I'm not gonna waste the stuff in our chest, so I suppose that's bedtime at 10.20 a.m. We did level up our foraging though doing that. So we've got plus one X proficiency. Tree sometimes drops seeds. Next crafting recipe would be wild seeds and field snacks. Tasty. 
Anything good on the telly? No, nothing good on the telly. Like always. Oh, but we do have a letter. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish fight faster. Hope to see you soon, Willie. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. <laughs> Responsible start stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologise for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Matt Morris, Jojo Customer Service Representative. There is birds eating our seeds again. How annoying! Uh, but we do have some nice parsnips. Any gold ones? Any gold ones at all would be appreciated. But I don't think we're going to get any gold ones, are we? If I could stop axing things, that would be appreciated. Uh, yeah, no gold ones. But we did have five of these that can go in there. The rest can go to sell. Uh, let's take them with us actually and then we can go directly to the shop um, and sell it that way oh there's a couple more here hiding behind the beans always hiding behind the beans oh, a couple of these oh we do have a thingy getting started a hey, extra hundred quid nice nice appreciate do we have another thing raising animals build a coop and reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow that will stop the birds from eating our stuff, which would be appreciated. Now, shop doesn't open for a little bit, so let's forage a little bit over here. Anything else behind these trees? No. If we clear this, we might get some extra plants growing around here. No, I'm not seeing anything yet. Clear this bit out as well. Oh, look, there's something forage there. Shine! I'll say hello. Don't you have work to do? Don't you fucking work to do, mate? Right, sell him that. Sell that as well. Gives us an extra space. Right. So we've got parsnips. Uh, we didn't get any golden ones, sadly. We've got four of these, which will continually produce. So we don't really need more than four. Um, let's get let's get f let's get eight of these. Eight potatoes. Eight cauliflower. Um, and then let's fill up the rest of parsnips because I kind of want a gold one. So there you go, that's all our money. Well, we've got 17 quid, but can't buy anything with that. And let's go home. Okay, so we've still got six. So we could make another, another one here. And then plant some more. Put this stuff away. Oh, we do have another one of those that we could put out as well. Got another room here for that one. Fabulous. So we need to go up crafting really, because we want some um, we want some crafty stuff. cleared the way up here so we can get to that exit quite nicely. Uh, we could do the one down here a little bit. And just in case you were, weren't aware, we can't clear these yet because our axe isn't strong enough to break the stump. Which is a bit annoying, but that's how it is. Now at least we have a clear entrance and exit if we need to go up or down, which is perfect. Right, run out of uh, energy again, so I suppose it's bedtime. 
we even need to go foraging or mining tomorrow because I did say we'd do that today, but ended up doing something else instead. Oh, hey, there we go. We've got a scarecrow recipe. Excellent. So, let us all oh, parsnips. No gold ones again. Put those in the in the box. We need to water everything again. Right. Foraging or mining, foraging or mining, what should we do? Did say we'd go foraging, so I suppose we'll go foraging first. And then if we have enough time left in this episode, we'll also go mining. We'll see how it feels. Probably should have taken our scythe with us, but oh well. It's fine. Because it's always beneficial to clear everything that you want so that you have space for stuff but to grow in the future. But, you know, we forgot and that's fine. We shall know for next time. Oh, we do have something over here. Let's go grab that. I think it's a horseradish. Oh, Willy dipping his rod. I don't think we've been down here yet. So this is like a little parky bit, with a little pond and a little river going for it. Good for foraging. Now if you remember what that telly said, or was it the telly? It, was, it might have been a letter. It said that we had some um, spring onions down here that we should go grab, so let's have a little look. You know what? Oh there it is, there is this three. And only no, no, they're all ready. Oh, there's some more horse radishes here as well. Another one over here. No, that does seem to be our lot. But I mean, six horse radishes and uh, three spring onions. It's not, it's not bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. exhausted again so we'll go home put our stuff away and uh, back to bed at 12 20. okay it's getting well it's a bit later than yesterday i suppose so you made 323 quid in parsnippiness excellente anything good on the telly oh queen of sauce that's what we want greeting is it i the queen of sauce here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish is, drum roll please, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. So we've learned a new recipe. Uh, recipe, scarecrow wood coal fiber so coal wood fiber okay let's make let's make two maybe two, two is enough do one here and one one here hey 100 gold Linus how's it going bruv Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. Oh, me, that's really sad. Why are people throwing rocks at the poor guy? Okay, to the mines we go. Oh, cutscene. Humph. Why is everyone humph in this game? I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good, but a dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Dun dun dun! Here, take this. You might need it. 
So even us, you've received a rusty sword. Thank you, my friend. Name's Marlow, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. So, Marlow has given us a thing. Reach level 5 of the mines. Not sure if we're going to be able to do it today. Depends if our energy holds out, but we'll see. Oh, ladder. So if you see up here, it says what level we're on. Amethyst, excellent. So we just picked up some copper, some coal. More copper. More coal. Oh, here's one of those beasties he was telling us about. And it gave us some slime. So, we have different kinds of rocks. These ones typically give you one stone. These ones typically give you two. Then you get ore stone. Um, which we'll probably find on this level. Yeah, these ones are ore. You get a couple that are jemmy. And then you get other things. Oh, we found a geode. The local blacksmith can it open it for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. It's got a couple more greenies. Let's fight them. Come at me, bro. Oh, he came at me. <laughs> Let's try not to die. Excellent. Oh, there's a little crabby rock there, if you saw it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to stab those or mine them. I think you're supposed to stab them. There you go, got a crab. And a cherry bomb, I think that is. Yeah, cherry bomb. Let's use our little cherry bomb, shall we? Oh, we've got, we've got a couple of um, things there. Let's, let's pick that up. Leave the, leave the rock for now. Yeah, we said we're going to use our cherry bomb, right? Let's find a good area. Maybe here. Oh, we're knackered. Let's eat our carrot, shall we? Looks like we're going to be able to get down to level 5, which is good. It's our health bar, energy. There you go, level 5. Yay! Now, I don't think I'm going to try and push to go any further. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Miss Darkness. And if you enjoyed this episode, consider subscribing, liking, leaving a comment. And you'll be able to catch us in the next one. Thank you. Bye.